I got grace um, read about the Son of the Prophets, the General Vassier of Christ as a Board Minister of All Nations. God bless you. I came to impact what God has impacted in me this very morning on the mountain to my student, those in just one. By the grace of God, I have a very great vision because this very vision you see is not an ordinary vision, it's a spiritual vision. God gave me this very vision when I was eight years to raise men and men will raise money. So by the grace of God, I came to impact to them and to let them know that the foundational root of any education is seeking for the kingdom. That once they seek, they seek the kingdom first, by the grace of God, everything will move paripas through for them. And by, the, by His grace, as you can see, uh, many of them that receive this great impartation, uh, they will use it and they will run with it to establish their destiny. What I normally say and what I prayed is to see all my spiritual sons to be greater than me. Now, if this very institution will start in less than three months, will have such kind of capacity, that's to show you that God is involved and people know the right place to put their right children. Because Rita Ba always, if you're in the right place, right thing will happen. I am, I am shocked when I went to their classes, I saw just one feel to the brim this way. It is something shocking. I return every glory to God and my prayer is that vision God has given in me, all of them will run with it and they will establish and they will be much more than me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning students, how are you? Hello, thank you sir. Wow, it's a thing of joy to this beautiful morning. By the grace of God, I'm written by some of the prophets, the general of Christ, as a board minister of all nations. God showed me 1983 when I was six years old. And by the grace of God, it's a thing of joy to see them manifest. This is just one student, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, by the grace of God, God told me I will raise men, and men will raise money. And the only way men can be raised is by impartation. Once a global world is being impacted in your life, what changed my destiny today is the word I had in 1983. God spoke to me in Matthew 6 3. He said, I should seek for his kingdom and his righteousness. He said, All these same men are begging, struggling to get, you follow me, free of charge. And by the grace of God today, whatsoever I don't have, I'm not in need of it. Whatsoever I'm in need of comes. Because the Bible says, Whatsoever you ask, believe in, you shall receive. So you should understand that God is never a deceiver, but he is a prayer answerable God. Where your faith stops is where your demand ends. But as your faith continues, then your need can never lack. Are you getting me? Yes. So I was on the mountain this morning meditating and he gave me a short message to teach you before I was going back to mountain to inquire from him. Amen. Amen. Are you paying attention? Yes, sir. By the grace of God, I'm looking giants. Giants will be a match. From you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see many of you going from glory to glory. Amen. This is a vision. It's a thing of joy that uh, your school has started uh, running or about to run. Uh, Great Grace Prophet University, which you all will be a particular of it. Is it not true? Yes. And my purpose and my vision is to empty negativity and cultism. Are you getting? It? Because the generation we are today. If we don't raise you, then we also cannot be raised. Any parent that has not raised a child cannot be raised. But once the parent has raised a child, that parent is raising himself. So by the grace of God, I'm here now to impact to you on what God has given to me to deal with this very circumstance titled anger. Anger. There is spirit of anger. Anger is a killer cancer. Anger kills more than anything. There is no cause without a cause. Proverbs 26, from verse 2. Proverbs 26, verse 2. Like a fleeting sparrow, like a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not arise. A cause without cause. There is no cause without cause. So, nothing just happened, right? Something lead things to happen. Right? You don't just get angry. Right? Something provoke you to anger. The cause of anger is losing of patience. 
or if your opinion or your efforts is not being accepted, it can lead to anger. But Jesus Christ is being sent to uproot that anger from us. That is why once you have Christ, you have everything. Isaiah 61 from verse 1 to 2. He come to take it away. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Uh -huh. To proclaim liberty to the captive. Uh -huh. And the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Mm -hmm. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Mm. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. Go for, for all. To take away heaviness. Heaviness. To take away what leads to anger. You can control anger. Everyone has spirit of anger. But the way you control it is what matters. Anger is one letter away from danger. Fear leads to anger. While anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. There is nothing wrong with anger. Provided you use it constructively. Provided you use it constructively. The best fighter is never angry. Like Rita Pai, who always tell his son, always channel your anger to your book and say, why would this young man confess? I have to study. I have to make it. I have to meditate. I have to make sure in this class, nobody see my back. That is where you channel your anger to, not unto one another. No! I channel my anger that in Plato, no minister will see my back financially. That, that was where I channel my anger to. Till Jesus come, no minister, dead or alive, can see my back. That's where I'm telling my anger to. That's why every day you see the man in on the mountain studying. Never went to university. Telling your anger on what we brought for you. Not this person say, this sister say, this student say. No, any child that always listens to what people say is not destined for greatness. For great people are slow to talk. Slow to react. Never do anything when you are in temper, for you will do everything wrong. Are you picking something? Thank you, sir. If you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrows. This should be your mojo. This should be your mojo in this class. You hold it. Anger is stupid, and stupidity will kill. Don't waste your time in anger. Write it down. Don't waste your time in anger because life is too short to be unhappy. With this little time I have, why should I be unhappy? No. Everybody, every man born of a woman's few days and full of what? Trouble. Job 14, from verse 1. It is wise, write it down. It is wise to direct your anger towards problem, not towards people. Because that person you are directing your anger to is not the cause to your problem. <laughs> are you getting me? Anger always comes from frustration. A frustrated person is an angry person. And if your expectation did not come to pass, it also leads to anger. It also leads to anger. Don't be frustrated. My son did not come this year. For that case, I'm angry. No! Have a high expectation. It does not come now, it will come tomorrow. Just keep on digging it. Keep on digging it. Keep on digging it. You come in last, last semester, does not warrant or does not mean you will come last this time. No. For you to come last, God forbid, and also come last means you don't want to make headways. Don't allow what people say against you to disfigure you, but let it remove you. <laughs> right? Because what people say or challenges is what brings your best. Without challenges, your best will not come out. Write it down. For every minute you are angry, you lost 60 seconds of happiness. Angry people are not always wise. Angry people are not always wise. 
If an angry person, you are not always wise. Mm. Nothing will come from anger. Nothing. Nothing will come from anger. It leads to a lot of things. It leads to cultists. It leads to murder. It leads to acting what you will regret. Nothing will come from anger. So whenever anger comes, you say, and guys, what? My mojo. And guys, what? Stupid. Stupid. And stupid, what? Now, you keep it. I don't want to die. And that is stupid. And that is stupid. And stupidity kills. I don't want to be a stupid person. You take away anger. As you do this, may God in his infinite mercy bless you and increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes, sir. Yes. Everlasting Father, King of glory, now we thank you for this time. We thank you for who you are, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you because you are a merciful Father in speech. Lord, if you come of ignorance, you overlook mighty Redeemer. Behold your sons and your daughters that are in the very great of Victoria. Father, I pray that you give them spirit of excellence. Lord, take away every spirit of anger in their life and give them strength to move forward. We can learn to live happy life. By the end, their destiny will be more established. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I decree and I declare that everyone here, may you receive a retentive memory. Amen. So ever you are ready or you reach, may you remember them all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel 25, it says, As his name is, so is he. For Nabel is his name and fully is in him. There is power in men. May this name of your school follow you. Amen. You have a great grace. Amen. May a greater grace be upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And amen. amen. Congratulations, are you blessed? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Yes. I'm happy seeing you. Yes. Have a lovely day.